First of all, I would like to mention that uh, it's a great privilege for me to be here today among such a distinguished uh, speakers and to speak before uh, such an honorable audience. Thank you for all of you for coming and being here today with us. Uh, as Dr. Mamadov mentioned today, I'm going to speak about Azerbaijan's relations with Central Asian countries, how we see Central Asia from Baku, why this region is important for Azerbaijan, and how Azerbaijan can be important for Central Asian countries. Uh, increased uh, economic capabilities and investment potential of Azerbaijan paved the uh, way to uh, development of Azerbaijan's foreign and economic relations with the countries far beyond uh, the national and the regional borders of Azerbaijan. Uh, successful initiation and realization of several uh, regionally important projects incentivized Azerbaijan's uh, foreign relations with the neighboring countries, uh, including those of Central Asia. Central Asia is one of the priority regions for Azerbaijan for its foreign policy and for its foreign economic relations. It's a massive region located on the direct neighborhood of Azerbaijan, uh, with its population over uh, 66 million, with, with its territory over 4 million square kilometers, and with its richness, uh, with different uh, national resources, such as mineral resources, fossil fuels, hydrocarbons, agriculture, researches, and et cetera, make it uh, one of the uh, important uh, regions for Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan shares borders with two of Central Asian countries, Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan, via Caspian Sea. And actually, this huge region is populated by nations sharing common historical, cultural, civilization, language, and some of them ethnic background with Azerbaijan. Historically, uh, in the certain parts of history, Azerbaijan was a part of the same state with the Central Asian countries uh, and part of the same historic civilization. And as a result of this geog geographical proximity and uh, kinship in ethnic, or language or cultural background, and now there is a uh, presence of significant Azerbaijani diaspora in Central Asia. Uh, their number today reach up to 170,000 people and mostly concentrated in Kazakhstan, uh, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan, which makes this region uh, more and more important for Azerbaijan to establish its uh, ben mutually beneficial uh, relations. Uh, but uh, Azerbaijan's relations with Central Asia and uh, today's like a developed political dialogue and economic cooperation is not based only uh, on this historical kinship or uh, cultural language uh, background, but actually there is a, a much stronger common denominator of Azerbaijan's developed relations with Central Asia. Uh, this is shared uh, political uh, uh, and economic interests as well as common security concerns. Uh, well, um, uh, during recent years, bilateral and multilateral relations between Azerbaijan and Central Asian neighbors have been experiencing notable development. Regularity of mutual visits of the heads of states and other high-ranking officials uh, visibly heightened. Uh, in 2012, of three Central Asian presidents, only in one year, three Central Asian presidents, Islam Karimov, Almazbek Atambayev, and Imam Ali Rahman visited Baku. And during the last several years, President Ilham Aliyev met with uh, all of Central Asian leaders in different bilateral and uh, multilateral frameworks and discussed developing political and economic relations and addressing common challenges. Uh, Azerbaijan and the Central Asian countries have their cooperation on the multilateral uh, level too. Uh, these countries are uh, members of some international organizations such as uh, Commonwealth of Independent States, Economic Cooperation Organization, uh, Organization for Islamic Cooperation, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. As we know, four out of five Central Asian countries are Turkish-speaking countries, and Azerbaijan cooperate with these Turkish-speaking countries within the frameworks of Turkish Council, Turkse, and Parliamentary Assembly of Turkish-speaking nations. Uh, among with, uh, along with the meetings of leaders uh, and foreign ministers and other high-ranking officials, the meetings of intergovernmental commissions are taking place both uh, in the capital of Central Asian countries and uh, Baku. Uh, uh, Azerbaijan has, has also uh, strong security interest, common security interest with the Central Asian countries. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to borrow the uh, idea from uh, regional security complex uh, theory of Copenhagen School of International Relations. 
uh, which says that actually uh, threats might travel easily in the short distance within the uh, uh, single within within the regions, and actually due to the geographical proximity and also the, I mentioned the cultural and language or ethnic or religi religious uh, commonness, uh, travels might uh, travel uh, within the wider uh, Central Eurasia, Eurasian region, and therefore Azerbaijan is strongly interested in uh, stability and security in Central Asia. Uh, and therefore, Azerbaijan actually is cooperating with its international allies, in, including Central Asian countries, to build a stable Afghan state in Afghanistan uh, and to make it uh, uh, like able and capable to withstand uh, pressure uh, after the withdrawal of international uh, coalition forces from Afghanistan by 2014. Uh, Azerbaijan is contributing to the security in Central Asia through its uh, cooperation to provide security in Afghanistan. Uh, and also, Caspian Sea is our common treasure with some of the Central Asian countries, and therefore, uh, Central Asian countries bordering uh, Caspian Sea and Azerbaijan, we are interested in security in the Caspian Sea, and there, there is room for cooperation in this respect. First of all, uh, an environmental security in the Caspian Sea is uh, the things that to be addressed by the common efforts, because uh, by the effort of one or two literal states, it's not possible uh, to achieve such a security. And also, in the protection of key energy infrastructure can, uh, could be uh, common interest, because it's uh, vitally important for economies of Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Azerbaijan. Uh, uh, along with this uh, cooperation with security and politics, Azerbaijan has uh, strong cooperation with Central Asian countries in, in the uh, economic field. Uh, actually, I'm not going to go too detail uh, into economic cooperation because it's a topic of our second panel. However, I would like to mention some of them that actually have uh, geopolitical importance. They are economic issues, but with geopolitical importance and geopolitical implications for the region. Uh, first of all, I would like to mention uh, that uh, bilateral uh, trade of Azerbaijan with Central Asia is about uh, half billion US dollars. And if you take into account 36 billion dollars of overall trade turnover of Azerbaijan, it might seem a small number, but we have to uh, uh, bear in mind that uh, most of the trade with Central Asian countries are non oil uh, sector trade. Uh, and. Uh, uh, and if we exclude oil sector and um, oil export and oil uh, products export from Azerbaijan's foreign trade, then this uh, half billion dollars makes an uh, important part uh, of Azerbaijan's foreign trade relations. And uh, given that the priority of uh, developing non-oil sectors, this, this trade is really important for Azerbaijan and there is room for, uh, uh, for increasing the volumes of trade with Central Asian countries, as it was repeatedly mentioned uh, by uh, leaders of Azerbaijan and Central Asian countries. And one more uh, the important cooperation that I, I would like uh, to mention in the field of uh, multilateral framework, I mentioned several organizations uh, that Azerbaijan and Central Asian countries uh, share the membership, uh, such as I mentioned, like uh, CIS, OECD, or ECHO, or TurkSoy, uh, such as like uh, Turk Patriotic Council, but there are some uh, organizations that Azerbaijan does not have membership. However, Azerbaijan's position uh, are sounded in those organizations, in those platforms by our uh, Central Asian partners. For example, we can recall uh, late May 2014 meeting of heads of uh, heads of states of Customs Union member countries when uh, President Nursultan Nazarbayev uh, highlighted that. Uh, Nagorno-Karabakh and other occupied territories of Azerbaijan have to be excluded from any uh, integration process in Eurasian uh, area. Uh, so it's, it's a sign of uh, uh, the uh, partnership relation, strategic partnership relationship of Azerbaijan with uh, Central Asian country, countries that are not only in the bilateral level but also uh, multilateral level. Uh, some other uh, and economic projects that have geopolitical importance and implications are transit routes, both for energy and other uh, non-energy goods. Azerbaijan, if you look at the uh, capacity of the projects, trans tra uh, transportation and transit projects of Azerbaijan, we can see that those projects are not designated just to meet the needs of uh, Azerbaijan, but actually they are 
built in order to meet the needs of the whole regions surrounding Azerbaijan, including and actually one of the most important regions uh, of this list is Central Asia. Uh, Baku Tbilisi uh, Jehan pipeline was already mentioned by uh, other speakers, uh, and uh, it's one of the pipelines that serves for export of oil resources of uh, Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. Uh, Kazakhstan uh, expressed its uh, interest to join the project from the beginning of, the, of its initiation, and actually uh, in 2007 and 8 it exported parts of its oil through the pipeline, but later it was suspended for several years, and now Kazakhstan uh, rejoined the project in the end of 2013. But uh, it's currently serving as a major pipeline for exporting Turkmen oil. If you take into account that Turkmenistan is extracting about 10 million of oil uh, per year and exporting 3.6, uh, in 2013 expo exported 3.3, billion uh, million tons of it through BTC pipeline, it shows that it's the key pipeline for Turkmen oil export. Uh, and uh, this year, uh, from January to August, the export of Tur Turkmen oil through the pipeline increased to 3.6 uh, million tons, which means increased by 70% in comparison with the same period of the last year. Uh, but the major uh, volumes of oil that is uh, meant to be exported through the pipeline and in Central Asian oil is expected to come from Kashagan uh, field, the offshore giant field of Kazakhstan. And actually there was a project, uh, Trans-Caspian Oil Transportation System, uh, that's supposed to uh, creation of energy export infrastructure on the uh, eastern coast of Caspian Sea in Kazakhstan uh, to export about 30 million, uh, to deliver 30 million tons of oil uh, tobacco uh, to be exported uh, further by uh, BTC pipeline, but and actually that project was uh, uh, planned to be uh, completed by 2013, but the delay in uh, launching the major uh, phases of Kashagan uh, project also delayed the creation of the Transcaspian oil transportation system. However, it's, th it's still on the agenda, and with the increased oil volumes that are expected to come from Kashagan oil, uh, field, uh, the project uh, will be, I mean, will be started to be implemented. Uh, Tana, uh, okay, uh, Tanap and Baku Tbilisi Arzurum, uh, these kind of pipelines are also can serve uh, to Central Asian interests uh, to export their uh, energy resources to waste. Uh, it's, it was already mentioned about uh, uh, this uh, railway system to connect uh, China to Europe. Uh, and uh, I have to mention that this, the major problem, actually, in terms of transportation of Central Asia is uh, landlockedness of this region. And landlockedness means the vulnerability to the transit countries and makes uh, landlocked countries to permanently seek for diversification of uh, the access to international uh, markets. And actually, Azerbaijan can play an important role for Central Asia to overcome its problem of being landlocked region and diversify its access to international markets. Uh, I would like to say a few words about what uh, can be done uh, to further improve our relations with Central Asia. One of the problems is that uh, there is not enough uh, exchange of information with Central Asia. Uh, we learn what's happening in Central Asia and then they learn about the event in Azerbaijan through, th through foreign sources, not from direct sources, in foreign language and uh, and uh, in most cases in different interpretation that diverges from the original source of the information. Therefore, uh, the, uh, ensuring the exchange of information uh, can be beneficial for knowing the interests of others better and uh, meeting these expectations. Uh, another thing is uh, lack of expertise and the lack of uh, experts who know the local languages in Azerbaijan, who knows Central Asian language and Central Asian experts knowing Azerbaijani language, which can uh, also improve the situation with this, uh, uh, this exchange of information problem. Uh, one of the things is this establishment of regional schemes or frameworks to improve the cooperation in the, uh, certain sectors of economy, most importantly in the trans uh, transit corridors, uh, because the creation of infrastructure actually is taking place both in Central Asia and in Azerbaijan, but there is also a need for harmonization and standardization of rules in the certain fields and uh, ensuring uh, constant uh, uh, coordination and exchange of uh, information with the respective agencies in both Central Asia and Azerbaijan to improve 
the situation with transportation and to, to create about a, a competitive uh, transport corridor, uh, Central Asia uh, Caucasus transport corridor, which can uh, uh, which can involve parts of the trade uh, of uh, Europe to China, which stands about half uh, trillion dollars annually, and uh, attracting some of the of that trade to pass Azerbaijan and Central Asia can bring uh, significant uh, uh, significant earnings for economies of both Central Asia and Azerbaijan. Uh, to conclude, I would like to mention that uh, Caspian Sea, which stands in between Azerbaijan and Central Asia, historically played the role of a barrier between Azerbaijan and Central Asia. However, it's time to change this nature and to make Caspian Sea a bridge between Azerbaijan and Central Asia, which is actually taking place uh, via the construction of ports, both in Central Asia and in Azerbaijan, and uh, improving relations. So we have to make it bridge between Azerbaijan and Central Asia, uh, to which will uh, facilitate the free inflow of goods, investment, and people and ideas from Azerbaijan to Central Asia and vice versa. Thank you for your attention.